Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the change for the pizza shop that I did uh, in an earlier video. Okay, in this shop you can choose a pizza size, small, medium or large, uh, with the prices, and then you can add some additional toppings. And then it will display, you bought small pizza, you owe 25 rand. I'm going to add a pay button, then the user is going to click on the pay button. It will pop up an input box, ask the user for the amount. Then we're going to test whether that amount is big enough or enough money. If it's not enough money, I'm going to display you need more money. Otherwise, I'm going to just display the change in the rich edit, the bottom. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to add a button. change the caption to pay and when the user click on that button I want to call the input book input box and that value of that input box must be saved somewhere so I'm going to make a variable or pay and I'm going to say or pay is equals to input box there's three, need three values. First one's like a heading. Just gonna say the picture shop. Second one is the label. Intel amount that you want to pay. Intel amount. And I'm going to make the default amount zero. Okay, so this input box, you will the user will be entering a string value. So we need to convert the string to a float to put it to be able to put it in the or pay variable. So I need to take it from a string to a float. Okay, and then I can say the money that he paid minus one here he paid minus the amount that he owes then I can put that in either either in R pay or I can create another variable I change okay so let's use this one I change so the amount he paid minus the total that he owes, let's say he owes 50 rand, gives her 100, so it's 100 minus 50, and then the change will be 50 rand. And then I want to display that in my reach edit. I think the name is reach edit one. Lines to add. Uh, not I. R change because it's a real real variable so our change and then I want to display our change in my reach edit but our change is a real everything that we display as output is string so I need to convert this from a float to a string but I want to display it as a cur in a currency format so I'm going to use the float to string f function. So then I need to say the fixed format should be currency with six spaces left of, of the comma and the currency I want it to display as two decimal values. Okay, so I'm converting float to string, taking this from a float to a string, displaying as a currency and with the six and the two decimals. So I'm going to order a small pizza with cheese. It's 25 Rand. I'm going to pay with 30 Rand. And it's going to display the 5 Rand change. But the problem is, if I enter amount smaller than the 25 Rand, my program is not going to work. So it's going to display minus 5 rand. 
So I need to put in a test to test whether the amount he's paying is actually bigger than the total amount that he owes for that pizza. So I'm going to say if the amount of pay or the total rather, if that is bigger than the money he gave, then I want to display a message telling the user that he did not give enough money. So show message. You need more money. Need more money else then I can display or calculate the change and display the change. So I'm going to put in an else. I'm removing the semicolon in front of the else. Begin and end. And then I will put this coding in there. Okay, so let's read. If the total amount owed, let's say that guy needs to pay 25 rand for his pizza. If it is more than the amount that he is giving, let's say I only gives 10 rand. So the 25 is more than 10. Then I need to display the message. You need more money. Else, that means that he did give enough money. Then I can calculate the change and I can display that change in the correct format. Okay, small cheese going to pay. Now I only give 10 rand. You need more money. Okay, so I'm going to try it again. Pay, but this time I'm going to say 30 rand. And then it will go into the else part of this if statement. Calculate the change and then display it. Another thing that you can do is you can just add a message in front of this float to string. See, say something like your, this is your change or something like that. Or you can add a message behind your money if you want to do that. Okay, so this is how you will calculate change and how to stop the guy from not entering enough money.